Welcome to the 2023 SUSE CP Conference, the Edge of Opportunity podcast from St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. The Southeastern United States Canadian Provinces or SUSE CP Alliance was established in 2007 to formally advance a common interest in enhancing economic ties between the two regions. The Alliance is a strategic trade and investment focused partnership between six southeastern U.S. states and six Canadian provinces. This year's conference is focused on opportunities in the blue and green economies. And welcome back to the Sioux CP 2023 podcast with Gale Force Winds. I'm Alan Dale. With me as always, my good buddy Jerry Crew. The business to business meetings are happening. We're getting to know a little bit about the delegates that are coming into the conference and hopefully what they're looking for. So Patrick, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself and your company and what it is that you do. Sure, I'm glad to. So at Spiri Robotics, we work on autonomous systems, especially aerial drones. We make the Spiri Mu drone. It's a micro uh, UAV that is uh, programmable, but it performs its duties completely autonomously. You don't need a human uh, remote control, you don't need a computer remote controlling it. They also uh, work cooperatively, so they will take a large problem, like scanning a coastline, and divide it into parts, and each robot in the flock takes a little part, and you piece it together afterwards. So wow. that's taking you know, um, a, a task that would take people a long, a long time to do at, at great cost, and letting you do it in a short period of time with relatively inexpensive gear. Uh, and uh, minimal uh, need for human sort of uh, babysitting and involvement. Wow. Patrick, how big are the drones? The ones I'm talking about here are about this big. Uh, so they weigh under two kilograms, uh, including usually a, a payload, uh, which could be a camera or, or whatever sensor you're using. And, and uh, what kind of size payload can you put on there in terms of weight? There's some variance on it. You know, the, yeah. the payload could be between uh, 250 grams is typical, up to a kilogram and a half. Wow. And that just depends on what your task is. Yeah. And so fully autonomous, uh, so cause sort of a, you give it its mission to fly, and they collaborate and work effectively together? That's right. Yeah. Up to how many in the flock can you have? There's no theoretical limit, but uh, you will be constrained by the bandwidth you've got. So what we do, and we've been working with uh, Bell on, on, on this aspect of the solution is you can set up a private network and operate your own uh, right. wide area uh, 5G capable network and get that bandwidth that you need sometimes yeah. to pull the data in real time. I would imagine for you know humanitarian operations, disaster relief, immediately getting internet service up is important, right? Understanding the terrain, an incredible application. What is uh, What does your ideal customer look like? Well, the ideal, I mean, uh, there's so many areas of application for, for what we do. And we started out uh, focused around uh, infrastructure, environment, and defense uses. They're actually technically very adjacent to each other. It's the same kind of behaviors we're looking for from the robots doing ground surveillance, doing uh, teamwork, and uh, you know, a, 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 um, a, a port, uh, a agency responsible for environmental or um, uh, coastal monitoring, coast guards, uh, branches of the uh, armed services are all uh, the kinds of clients that we, we work with today. Right, and um, so in terms of SUCP, well, what are you most interested about at this particular conference? Well, it's my first SUCP, right. and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, we're, generally speaking, interested in expanding uh, in, uh, out, outside of uh, the Canadian provinces and um, into, into Europe and into the States okay. um, with uh, travel now um, uh, possible again. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a good time to do it. Um, the 
uh, expansion of infrastructure of fisheries uh, along waterways uh, is of particular interest to us. We're actually working with a company in Newfoundland, in, 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 right here uh, at this conference, on a pilot project. Uh, Can you name the company? Yeah, yeah that's CompuSalt. Oh, okay. And yeah. um, that, that project's supported by the uh, Kenneth Ocean Supercluster. It's a pilot of these things that I'm talking about, of, uh, we're, of developing um, assistance for ports, for infrastructure expansion, uh, deal with the kind of flooding and, or the risk of hurricanes that we see happening in Nova Scotia today, for instance, these floods. Um, and, uh, of course, expansion of fisheries in a sustainable way. The graphic user interface. Uh, tell me about that for the for the for the user here. Well, the, the depends a little bit on the the kind of mission you've got. But we've we've altered we've added extensions that can plug into our commonly used uh, okay. interfaces, and um, I'll, uh, but basically you, you you get a map and you can encircle regions of interest on it. You hand that to the the computer, and it divides it up into uh, sub-regions that each of the robots in the group can take on on their own. They do it all without you having to do um, further effort. So you go in knowing the kind of mission that you're going to do, and the computer handles the rest. Wow. And, I, and I guess it would be mission specific, but time on task, can you run these things 24 and 7? Are they, yeah? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, you, you you need to, of course, swap out the batteries. These are electric-powered uh, robots. They use yeah. lithium-ion batteries. So, as long as you're um, uh, supplying them with fresh batteries, they can they they you can they have can, one up and another recharge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Sounds like a really select product. We're we're pretty proud of it and yeah. pretty excited to see it in more applications. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. So, if you could summarize your value proposition in uh, in an elevator pitch, what would that look like? World peace and saving the planet. I mean, uh, we're, we're looking for challenges uh, in the spaces of defense, infrastructure, and environment. And where you need uh, assessments of water, of, of ground, uh, we can help you do that. Patrick, what a, what a great product you have, and uh, we wish you the best of luck here at CCP. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Very My interesting. Pleasure. Thank you. That's wonderful, man. Thank you for tuning in to the 2023 SUS CP Conference, the Edge of Opportunity podcast from St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. The 2024 conference is taking place in Biloxi, Mississippi, and we look forward to seeing you there.